We're getting you into the holiday spirit today and showing you how you can help those in need while you're celebrating the season. It's all part of the fifth annual Holiday Live at Larkin event at Larkin Square tonight. That's where News 4's Katie Alexander is live. Katie, what can people expect tonight? Well, Brittany, setup has been underway here at Larkin Square throughout the day today. And between 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock this evening, we're expecting about 1,500 people to come out here to this weather protected boardwalk area to get in on all of the holiday fun. Of course, one of the biggest draws will be all of the live music. It starts with the South Park Choir singing classic Christmas tunes. Then we'll see the headliners, Robot Holiday. That's a local music collaborative performing original holiday songs. It's a free event with free parking thanks to a partnership with KeyBank and Independent Health, and it will also feature tons of local businesses. From the food trucks on the square, to the locally made brandy and the apple cider from the filling station, to the vendors taking part in the holiday market. And a lot of the pr proceeds will benefit the Food Bank of Western New York. On top of that, the event goers are also invited to bring a pillow to donate to the homeless this season. A chance to buy some gifts. Have a little fun for yourself, and you're also giving back to the community by being here. It's always been phenomenal. Sometimes the weather can play a part, both positively and negatively. If it's too cold, people may not want to come, but if it's a great night tonight, we expect a, a great crowd. And some great food for them? Definitely. Again, though, whatever the weather is today, you should be in good shape here. Crews have brought in industrial heaters for this boardwalk area, and there will be other heaters set up out on the square near the food trucks to keep everyone warm. You can find the full event details on our website, WIVB.com. Just go to the Founded on 4 section. Reporting live in Buffalo, Katie Alexander, News 4. Thank you, Katie.